welcome to Karen's 5,000 subscriber YouTube pop. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you, girlfriend. That is just such an accomplishment. I am so proud of you and I'm so honored to be joining this with you. Love you so much, girlfriend. We are also celebrating Karen's anniversary for her button shop. And I would like to talk about that because I love Karen's buttons. I think they're spectacular. I will put a link to her button shop below and also everybody who's participating in her YouTube hop. She is just so awesome. She gave everybody in the hop buttons for participating. Isn't she just the sweetest person in the entire world? No wonder she has 5,000 subscribers. So, I am scrap lifting Karen, and she used this Pink Fresh Sundays collection in one of our Pink Fresh Friday YouTube hops, and I just love this layout, so I'm scrap lifting her. You can see that I put a picture of her layout at the beginning, so I'm going to pretty much copy almost exactly everything she did because I love it so much. I'm going to use this awesome picture of my niece and this beautiful papers and let's talk about these buttons now karen has buttons for every single occasion that you could possibly ever think of and you can get things like butterflies and words and just all kinds she has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of buttons and the prices are amazing and what i like about her buttons the best is there's room back here for a foam dot and also they're not super fat so they don't take up too much dimension on your page so her buttons are amazing i love that a lot but in addition in case you didn't know karen also does customized buttons and i want to show you some of them because they're absolutely wonderful she's made these for me she's gifted them to me this is my niece that's in this photo here and look she did all my baby kittens and then this is my great niece and my daughter and my other niece her sister my great niece and my cats look at and there's one of me and my husband isn't that fantastic? Those are all my people. And she put on put them on a button for me. Look at my kitty. Isn't that wonderful? So if you ever need a customized button, you can also get those from her button shop as well. So I just wanted to show those to you because I love them so much. And I'm going to go ahead and scrap lift Karen. We're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Karen put about five layers of paper behind her photo. I think I managed one, two, three, four, which is really good. And she tore all the edges on the side, which I really, really like. And what I really like about this paper is it's already got the lines on it for you. So you don't have to use a T-square ruler and you're going to get your picture on nice and straight. So let's go ahead and get that stuff down. I am super excited for this layout because it's beautiful and it's going to come together so wonderfully because Karen already did all the work for me, right? So I'm going to use this top line here just to make sure that my picture is straight on my layout and I think that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and commit. All right. And then Karen put a tag over here, which I'm going to go ahead and put some twine in because she did. So I just go through the top, if I can get it. I go through the top, pull it through, and then you just go like that. And then I go ahead and I tie a knot on the top and just close it off like that. And then I'll take some fabric scissors. These are really old fabric scissors that my mom had when I was little. And then the ends won't fray if you have nice scissors. And I should not have stuck that down before I put my tag in, but we can just pull that back up and everything will be fine. All right, so I think right about there. Maybe over just a little bit more. Perfect. And then I will take my glue and get underneath that tag and get that stuck down. And I do glue down my tag um, twine 
because I don't want it to move. I want it to stay exactly right there. Karen also took and put this beautiful lemon floral up off the top of the tag like that. So I will as well because it looks perfect right there. Just stick it right in like that. It's so pretty. I have a nice little cluster right there. And I'm going to pop these up on some fun foam. I'm out of fun foam um, foam squares at the moment, so I got to get to the store and get me some of those. I'm going to put this right here. And Karen put a pink fresh flare here, but this is where I'm going to put her awesome button. Look, at, it says yep, and it matches perfect, doesn't it? And Karen put a bow here, and I'm going to use this particular bow myself because this just so happens to be a bow from her graduation party favors. So I was totally saving, oops, sorry for the noise. I was saving these bows specifically to be able to use them on something that I could gift back to her. And I'm going to use glossy accents to put this button down after I put a piece of foam on it. I think it'll be best if I use some foam on there and elevate it so you can definitely see this awesome button. All right, some glossy accents in there. I'll just make sure I get it where I want it. And that's gonna take just a second to dry, which will be good because then I can move these things around to make sure they're where I want them to be. Hopefully they'll stay there. There. And I was thinking about also scooching in another little floral under here. Just like that. And then another thing that Karen did on her awesome layout is she went ahead and put flowers on top of the flowers that were already in the pattern paper. And she popped them up on some foam squares. I'm going to do that too, just for some dimension, which looks really, really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and put another one right here. I think maybe right in a corner like this. wonder if that'll look good. You know what? I'm going to put it over the flower. So let's do that. Yeah, that looks great. And then I'll put another one down here at the bottom. Let me just cut this down to size and get that on there. I think Karen put it around this area or maybe she put it. No, I think it looks better up here. That looks really good too. All right, let's put this one on some fun foam and stick that in there. I have a random yellow one sticking out through here too. You know what? I think that I'm going to leave this one alone and let's put some up here on the tag the same way that Karen did because I think that would look just spectacular right there. Perfect. Let's do that. So I'm going to put some more glue underneath this tag just to get it flat to the paper and then put the dimension on this flower with the foam. This one will be flat. I'm going to tuck it underneath. Yeah, that looks good. And now we can put a date and some journaling right here. Good. Let me get this stuck down like that. Perfect. I'm so glad you came up with this idea, Karen, so I could have a new layout. <laughs> okay, there. Now that's all done on that side. Perfect. Hopefully this is gluing down well with that glossy accents. And now let's work over here. Karen went ahead and put another flower up here with some foam. Fresh. You know Pink Fresh is my favorite. And Karen always joins in the Pink Fresh Fridays YouTube hop with me. And I love watching her videos so much. Doesn't that look awesome? All up on dimension like that. Let me get some more of this so I can put um, this flower up too. Let me see where we can put this. Maybe right there? 
How does that look? The glare on my photo. I like that. Let's go ahead and commit. So I'm pretty much following exactly what Karen did because I love it so much. All right, I found this puffy sticker. It says start here. And I'm just going to put it there because I think it looks really cute and it matches. And this mark on my paper is driving me crazy. I don't know where it came from. I must have written on it on accident. So I'm going to solve that problem by putting a flower over it. And there you go. And now that's all covered up and it looks super cute. And I don't have to look at that pencil mark on my paper anymore. All right. So I am just about done. I just have to put my title on and also my enamel dots. I didn't find anything else that I wanted to add to the layout because I really think that it would take away from Karen's beautiful design. I am going to use these alphas and I'm going to say something like beautiful girl, beautiful smile, something like that. And then the other thing that I wanted to do on camera is show you that with these enamel dots, Karen did go ahead and she put enamel dots right in the middle of her flowers, which I think looks spectacular. I really love how she did that. All right, I'm all finished. I have everything glued down. And I have all my beautiful flowers popped up on um, foam like Karen did, and her button, and my bow. And I did go ahead and put some pink fresh gems because I just couldn't help myself. I love me some bling bling sparkle. And I ended up having the title be Gorgeous Smile. And then there was an empty space right here that I didn't like. And I couldn't get the title to work two words up at the top. So I just ended up putting another um, flower here on some foam foam. So that worked out good. So there is my layout. And thank you so much for this awesome design, Karen. I really love how this page came out, and I'm sure she will too. And congratulations, my girlfriend, on your 5,000 subscribers and your button shop anniversary. I love your buttons so much. And I love you. Bye, everybody.